some very silly songs. Hey, we bet that what's for lunch, Mum E.B. must be worth a bomb. Then there was one about airline disasters, and one about Leamington Spa. Would it be wrong to drop a line to John, asking them where they are? I am Brian Helicopter of The Shapes, one of the original shapes, and I have come here today, despite my accent, from Berkeley, California. Hi, I'm Steve, I'm the star shape within the band. I share the guitar duties with Tim. We both uh, fill about a bit and play the, the rhythms to keep Ben going. My name's Tim, and I play guitar. Um, my name's uh, Seymour Bybus, and um, otherwise known as Ben Broughton, and I'm the singer with the shapes. And that was a motorbike. Hello, I'm Dave. I'm Dave G. I'm a drummer with the shapes. The shapes uh, and me started a million years ago, and I never believed that if I'd reached 54, I'd actually be the chef porn on the telly. But my favourite has got to be Rick Stein or Keith Floyd. They're pretty good. And I reckon this is pretty much in, in keeping with what they come up with. Loaves and fishes, or in fact Jeebus, but he was never really a chef. Uh, yes, uh, this is an old new song. This is uh, kind of current because of Wimbledon's just round the corner. Andy! Don't play tennis!
Yes, Dave, yes, yes, Dave, could you tell us yes, what, you, what Jesse, you're planning? Yes. Well, I think, I think probably I want to uh, spark a bit of controversy by saying so I think the shapes are bigger than Jeepers. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, on this particular well, occasion. Certainly bigger oh, than Jesus. Jesus. Major trouble for that. Jesus. Make Jesus. millions of pounds Jesus. and have a gold right. hat. And uh, is this, what are you cooking on there, Dave? This is, look, this is fishes. Fishes? Fishes and loaves. Loaves and fishes. Well, I'm not going to cook the loaves because they're all cooked. But if a multitude happens along... And are these fish from the Sea of Galilee? Actually, they're from Northampton. <laughs> so I've been on tour with the shapes since last Thursday. It's been great fun. I've sort of... Um, found moments where I've just felt exhausted by it and I felt very middle-aged and what am I doing? Um, but the rewards are huge getting together with these guys, they're such a bunch of laughs and I keep reminding myself that people give their eye teeth to do what we're doing and we've done some great gigs, people have been incredibly kind and appreciative of the fact we've come back out of retirement to do this and um, so it's just been a kind of labour of love in the truest sense of the word, so it's been great. It's been really good. So, I'm tired, but it's it's been fun, you know. Um, you never know how many more of these we've got in us, but if you'd have told us when we split up in 1980 that we'd do two subsequent tours and release the record repeatedly, I really wouldn't have believed it, but it, it's nice to see that it's had legs over 30 years. Um, as for getting back together with everybody else, it, it's, it's kind of like riding a bike. Um, but it's sort of like an old rusty one with odd sized wheels. So uh, so it sort of goes along, right? And it's all bicycle shaped, but occasionally the saddle will fall off and you'll get an unpleasant surprise, but it will make everybody else laugh, essentially. Oh, I can hear it sizzling. Look at that. Happy little fish. Fantastic things, fish.
must get out of the south and go up to the north to try to spar waters, darling. Hello there. My name is Ben Broughton, also known as Seymour Bybus of the Shapes. And behind me is Warwick School, which is the place where the Shapes got their education and learnt many practical jokes and jolly jokes that they applied later to the Shapes. I've come here to Leamington today to introduce a few of the places that were quite instrumental in the formation of the Shapes and their music. And as you can see, it's a beautiful day, so we're going to go do shapey things around Leamington. Thank you. See you later. Hello, this is Seymour Bybus again, outside the spa centre here in Leamington. This is a venue from which we were famously banned in 1977 for throwing baked beans all over the audience. It's really quite a sight. I'm now standing in front of 27 Woodbine Street here in Leamington. Um, this is the original home of the Woodbine Mobile Recording Studios run by John Rivers. And it's here that the Shapes recorded their two singles, the only singles, the Part of the Furniture EP, and blast off airline disaster and the studio was located in the basement which you can probably see down there behind me uh, both of these rec were recorded on four track um, reel to reel tapes so I just came here in the hope that there was a blue plaque dedicated to John um, Rivers and the Shapes but it's not here so I go home disappointed Batman! This is the original laundrette behind me which inspired me to write the song Batman in the Laundrette. Come on Robin!
future of the shapes it, you can never really tell I mean we always swear that we'll never do it but it's it's I think it's a point of principle with us such that we have them is that as long as we can do it we'd like to do it with the original five because um, there's so many other acts and there's nothing wrong with it but so many other acts that only have maybe one or two and sometimes none of the original members and and some of that's just unavoidable you know personal histories illness sometimes even death but while all five of us are around I think it's it's important that if we're only going to uh, reform on on very you know odd occasions that it is the original five of us so that people see the people from the records. As to future reformations, you know, you never know. I mean, we never know whether it's in the cards, and uh, sometimes it isn't. We don't want to do it, and sometimes we want to do it, and it isn't. But you know, rather like strange planetary alignments, every now and again it comes around, and here we are in a strange German camper van on Brighton Pier while the drummer fries rancid fish on a beach. I would love, I never say never, and I would love the seven the seven gigs to end on a end on a high, and with a future to perhaps reconvene the game. But you never know logistics, etc., etc. I'd like to think personally that this isn't the end of the shapes touring wise or gigging wise. That there will be times when we can all reconvene, get the logistics sorted, etc., etc. But we all have our own commitments, and it's it's never easy for us two will be together in the same place at the same time because of you know our we, we are so spread out quite a bit really so it's we have all of our own things to do and our own commitments but i for one would like to do it again and i'd like to think the other guys are thinking along the same lines to be honest i don't know what i feel about the band reforming i've kind of got an uphill struggle with keeping my art on art on track uh, I run a festival in Hastings now called Trash Can, which seems to be building momentum. And uh, but if the call comes um, and the money's decent to cover our expenses and stuff, um, this time round we did merchandise, which we've never done before, and it's gone really, really, really well. So I, that, that, there seems to be some income stream through doing stuff. Um, and I'm kind of been aware of health issues around the shapes. I'm, I'm I'm very lucky, but you know we're all getting on a bit. But it's amazing once they once they all get on stage, they're like they're all 18, 19 again. Absolutely amazing. And I think we're probably playing the songs faster now than we did back then, which is some doing. Uh, I probably have to kill myself first. No, uh, I'm open to suggestions. We'll see how what happens. <laughs>
So I'll be back on. You don't get rid of me that easy. What's for lunch, Mum?